Hey guys, welcome back to the Mallory Moore Show. By the title of this video, you already know what we're about to get into. So let's go ahead and get into the tea while it's hot. Rose gold seat on a fucking helicopter, double C, no Chanel, cause she's bad, bad, bad. Ride it, I was sagging, I can cup you a new Rari, let you ride it, now you're rap and you're bad, bad, bad. No plan, no Atari, I won't play with you for nothing, I can eat you like her bachi, cause you're bad, bad, bad. I just took the doors, all the guinea, now I'm riding, and I'm sliding down the sideways, now she call me her zaddy. Rich nigga, shit, I bought my daddy, your new panic got on my. Hey guys, so, you know, school is just around the corner, and I just wanted to do this quick little video because I feel like when I was an incoming freshman at TSU, or just, you know, an incoming freshman, period. I feel like, you know, I just really didn't know, you know, what to think, how to feel, what I should be doing, what I should not be doing. And um, it's a lot of things that you should not be doing that I think is important. And plus, I was the only child, so I really didn't have any guidance. Like, my parents always told me stuff, but I never really had a mentor who really just sat up and was just like, yeah, like, don't do that. We don't do that. So this is what this video is for. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into it. So I have my list, so I'm going to be reading off my list, so bear with me. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the do. So my first do, um, I put go to every party, but now that I think about it, I mean, you're not going to be able to go every party, but what I mean by that is don't just be at home. There's going to be parties every week. Um, I'm about to be an upcoming junior at TSU, so I party. I feel like every weekend my freshman year, I'm kind of happy about that just simply because Really, my sophomore year, I was just really focused on my books. You know, I'm about to apply for OT school. So I just say go ahead, have fun freshman year because really after freshman year, you're going to be trying to focus on getting in the clubs, um, really, really thinking about school, which you're going to think about school freshman year. But, you know, freshman year, it's just lit. Everybody's getting to know each other and it's just new and it's something fun and you're away from home. So I definitely encourage please go out as much as possible but just party wisely so that's my only thing about that be adventurous what i mean by be adventurous get to know your surroundings get to know your city i did not take my car my first year just simply because my parents wouldn't let me and i'm kind of happy that they did do that because i know nashville like the back of my hand i can get places without putting in a gps which is great because not a lot of people can do that um, I'm the type of person, you can take me somewhere one time and I will remember it that one time, every time. So um, if you want to bring your car, you can. I know a lot of people still do bring their car, but I did it. And I think that helped me know my city better. And I love Nashville to death. So get to know your city, get to know your surroundings. Be social. Be social, be social, be social. Like y'all, please be social because I will say freshman year sets the tone. I'm not saying that you're not gonna meet people your sophomore, junior year because you will, but I feel like your freshman year kinda sets in a place like who's gonna be your friends and not everybody is your friend because that's number one. But what I mean by setting the tone by getting your friends is just because you kind of know what you like, what you don't like, who you want to be around, who you love being around, who you don't like being around. So make sure if there's an event on campus, go to it. Networking is essential in college. Um, highly recommend it. So just get to know everyone on campus. Not everybody's going to be your friend, but it doesn't hurt to know not know who goes to your school. And TSU is kind of small, so really everyone knows everyone. And if you don't know everyone, you're gonna see everyone, so you're gonna know their face. You're gonna know who go to TSU and you're gonna know who don't go to TSU. So that's just that. For the fourth one, I said go see your advisor. Go see your advisor. Um, I think I, I went to go see my advisor um, but I feel like I wasn't taking it serious. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. Like, my first, my first semester of my freshman year, I was having the time of my life. Like, I went to class and all, and I did my work and all. But when it came time to test and, like, really buckling down and studying and, you know, um, the degree track of my major and what I need to have in each class to get into OT school, to get into health sciences school, I wasn't really caring about that. So, Please go see your advisor. She's going to keep it, whoever, she or he, they're going to keep it real with you. You're going to know what classes you need to take. Um, I know some people don't go see their advisor because they like to do their own schedule, but I don't like to do my own schedule because I just want to make sure that I'm, you know, on the right track. But I definitely recommend, please go see your advisor um, at least twice a month, just so you're on track. Because who doesn't want to be on track and you're miles away from home? It's a pretty penny, a pretty penny 
to go to college. So please do not waste your parents' money. Please be alert. Please know what's going on. Please, 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 please. For number five, I said broaden your horizon. Um, keep an open mind. What I mean by that, when you know you're coming from home, going to a new city, or just even going to a new area of your state, um, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be different on your own anyway. I was more open to doing things in college than I wasn't open to be doing things at home. So if you wanna go somewhere or go have fun or go to a place you've never been, do it. Just be safe. Um, that's all I can say about that. Just don't be so boxed in. Think outside of the box. Be very, very open with people because you're going to be coming in contact with people who don't even think like you, who don't talk like you, and you just got to be able to understand. And that may be your best friend. So, okay, y'all. Number six. Number six I'm not playing about. Like, freshman 15 was real like in my last video I don't know if y'all saw it but my freshman 15 was the freshman 24 um I came to TSU 174 and I went back home you know we went back home and I ain't gonna lie like my parents were on me and plus I cheered so I really had to get it together because you know I just you know I have a coke bottle shape and it was not looking very much Coke bottle anymore. So I had to really just get it together. Um, I love to eat, clearly. I love to eat, I'm a thick girl. I have to be fed, honey. But when you're in the calf and you can go back multiple times, five and six times, you got the dessert table, you got the ice cream, the peach cobbler. Like it was serious y'all, freshman year I blew up. Like first semester you couldn't really tell I think when I came home, but when I came home for the, the summer, I did not look Coke bottle. I didn't look slim thick. I didn't look how I thought I was looking in the mirror. And I went back to school, I lost more than 24 pounds. You know, now you can't tell me nothing. But I would never let myself look like that again. And I don't even think I was realizing it. But y'all, just make sure you're cautious. Um, I feel like with the freshman 15, I wouldn't say it's bad because I was enjoying myself. I was eating, but at the same time, like, I wasn't being healthy. And, you know, health is wealth. So just be cautious of that. Um, like I said, I'm glad it happened because it made me work harder of, you know, trying to tone my body. And I'm still not even back to my goal weight. You know, I said I want to be 185 by my birthday. But in reality, I kind of do want to be my size when I came to high school. But we'll see. Your body changes. And, you know, if it changes, it changes. If it stays, it stays. Kudos to you. Save, save, save your money. Um, y'all, I can't even begin to ask you how much my mom cashed at me, um, freshman year. I think she totaled up her, uh, cash app and she said it was over a thousand dollars. And that's the gag. And you know, I didn't, I wasn't working because I, I didn't have my car. So like my parents didn't mind giving me money. I don't like for anybody to do anything for me. But like I said, I was a freshman and I had to have groceries. I had to have the coins to get into the parties. So in homecoming week, I don't even want to tell you how much I spent on homecoming week. So that's just that. But save your money. Um, like all that graduation money that you get when you graduate high school, save that. Don't spend that. Spend some of it, but don't spend all of it. Um, and I'm actually really good with saving money. But like I said, I, I started working my sophomore year. So I didn't really ask my parents for money. If they decided to pay for anything, it was probably groceries or gas. But like, I'm talking about pressure. My mom was giving me money for everything. And I couldn't drive, like I said. So she was even Uber Eats. Like we were doing Uber Eats. She would be doing it from uh, Alabama. And it would be at my door. So like, y'all, just save your coins. Save your coins. And especially if you're not gonna have a car, you don't want to always ask your parents for money, but the money they do see, you save it. <laughs> save it. I'm so for real. Okay, so let's get into the don'ts because y'all know the type of person I am. I'm going to always keep it real. I'm going to always keep it a buck. So let's just, let's just go ahead and keep it a buck. Okay, so my first don't, and um, this is no shade, no tea. Me and my ex are still cool somewhat. But I do not advise getting in a relationship freshman year. Um, 
I got in a relationship my second semester of freshman year, and it's nothing against dating somebody. If you feel like you found your person, you found your person. But I feel like for me, I feel like it was still, of course, a lot of growing. It's still a lot of growing for me to do. Um, I'm not even out of college yet, but I feel like I know who I am now, and I know what I want and what I like. And, um, you know, I just feel like I wasn't all the way developed yet, like, of what I wanted and... I feel like y'all are knowing what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but like, I just, I, I wasn't ready. Like I wasn't ready. I thought I was, um, you know, and I just wasn't ready. Um, I don't want to say too much because I feel like I'm being mean, but I'm really not. I just advise you not to get in a relationship because I feel like you truly don't even know what you want and you probably truly don't even know, you know, yourself like you think you think you do until like you're going into your junior or senior year. You know, most parents and most people even say like, don't even get in a relationship until your junior or senior year because at that point you're getting into your major, you know school is getting serious and you know you're about to graduate in two years. So that's all I have to say about that. But if you want to get in a relationship and you think you found the one, you think you found your soulmate, by all means, do it. Do it. I support it. I support it from a distance. Okay. Number two. This is a big number two. This is probably should have been the number one. But I just wanted to go ahead and get that out the way with the relationship. But go hard. Please go hard first semester. First semester sets the tone for everything everything freshman year you can't um get involved you can second semester but your first semester of course you can't get involved and you know you can start getting involved your sophomore year your first semester of your sophomore year so if you do bad your first semester you're not gonna be able to do anything the next semester and probably still not do anything the first semester of your sophomore year so all i can say and i cannot stress this enough please 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 go hard your first semester a it out honestly a it out you know go see your teachers make sure you're in your teacher's face that's probably one of the do's but i'm gonna go ahead and say it please be in your teacher's face if you're in their face and you're asking questions they're gonna know you care if you just go to class and don't say anything don't raise your hand probably don't even speak to your professor they're not gonna you know and i'm not saying anybody's supposed to show you favor but i feel like showing favor is a real thing you know if you pray on it so like if you really just show that like, you don't care and you don't go to any tutoring sessions they're not gonna care that you got an f because in college you take your l's and you go to the calf and eat like l's in college are not the same type of l's in high school when you take your l in high school you got to go back home and say mama i got an l when you take your l in college you're going to the calf and getting something to eat to make yourself feel better so like i said just go hard first semester so you don't have to worry about the stress and I'm not even gonna lie I'm not gonna say I did terrible my first semester but I could have done way better than I than I did and my GPA is great now um it took a little work but we're here 3.4 GPA get into it okay my number three is don't be anti um, like I said there's gonna be a lot of things to do on campus there's probably an event almost every other night and if there's not anything to do on campus like i said we're night we're right next to vanderbilt belmont um mtsu uh fist but you know we're really cool with this um i'm just playing but for real though um don't be anti it's gonna be hard to find friends if you're anti freshman year so just get out get to know your surroundings have fun in the city there's plenty of faith places to go eat um, Y'all know Slim and Huskies is my favorite spot. I've even met a few people there. So don't be anti. Be cool. Get to know people. Don't just stay in your room all day. You're going to be bored. My number four is don't be afraid to ask for help. That kind of ties into go hard your freshman year. Y'all just don't be afraid to ask for help. Literally. You're going to find somebody on campus to help you. You have the writing center, you have math tutors, and I think all the biology teachers are uh, willing to help you and, you know, tutor you and stuff like that. So there's really no reason why you shouldn't be able to get the help that you need. TSU wants to see you succeed. They want to see you graduate. Um, I know TSU is big on, of course, graduating their students, and most HBCUs are. But um, like I said, just don't be afraid to ask for help. And that, that goes for anything. 
Um, I know a lot of people their freshman year, they do get a mentor. I never had a mentor and I still don't have a mentor. Um, I don't know why that is, but I'm not scared to ask for help. But I feel like a mentor is help for freshman year because they can guide you. I, I'm a mentor, but I didn't have a mentor. So. Number five, get to know your professors. Get to know your professors. Get to know your professors. Get to know them. Because they're going to be there for you in the long run. I'm still cool with a lot of my professors freshman year, especially my biology teacher, um, Dr. Ivy. He knows I want to be an occupational therapist. So every time I see him, he's like, occupational therapist. Future occupational therapist. Miss Moore. Dr. Moore. So um, don't be afraid to ask for help. Be in their face. Ask them anything you need. Go to their tutoring sessions. If you are always confused and you know you're you scared to ask for help, at least go to their tutoring sessions. Um, their tutoring sessions, you get to know them more on a personal level. And if you're scared to ask in front of the class, you can just ask for tutoring. Tutoring's free. I know everybody hates tutoring. I hate tutoring, but if I didn't go, I would not pass my classes with an A. So go to tutoring get to know your professors okay number six is a big one don't be caught up trying to go to every party um i know i said in the dues go to each party go to as much parties as you can because i'm saying have fun freshman year because you know sophomore year and junior year you're not going to want to do that you will be partied out i'm partied out i kind of consider myself getting a little old but it's still things that i'm trying to do at tsu so i'm not really that old for real but when it comes to parties, I feel like I'm old on that aspect. But don't go to every party. Don't get caught up going to every party. If you miss a party, it's going to be one next week. But I will say don't miss the biggest parties. Your work comes first. Like, please, please don't forget why you're in school, y'all. Please don't. Please don't waste your parents' money. You know, apply to as many scholarships as you can, y'all. Like, I cannot stress this enough. Please don't forget why you're in school. And where I go, I wouldn't say it's a college town, but it's a city that everyone comes to. You know, they are the music city. So people are always gonna be coming to Nashville and it's always gonna be something to do. It's concerts every other week. So just please don't forget why you're in school. Please don't waste your parents' money. They love you. They of course want to see you succeed. And even if you're getting a loan, if you're, especially if you're taking out a loan, make sure you're not planning. Cause what is you taking that money for to play? Just be serious. Go hard freshman year, go hard in the paint. That second semester you can relax because second semester is always fun. First semester jump because you know, it's gonna jump because football season. I feel like the fall always jump anyway. But that spring, the spring jumps. And when it jumps, you need to be there to jump with it. So that's really all my do's and don'ts, y'all. Um, for another one, this just came to my head, but for my ladies, um, everyone's beautiful in their own way. So please don't let these boys like trick you. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, and not everybody's gullible. Not every female is gullible. But I feel like coming in as a freshman, coming in as a college student, coming in not knowing what to do or not do, people are going to um, manipulate you, guys in particular. College is a cycle when it comes to females and boys. So just, just don't let people dog you. Um, please know who your friends are. Everybody's not your friend. Stay focused, stay focused on why you're in school. Still have fun and still look cute. Because you can still be a bad, but keep it player though please always keep it player don't ever lose focus don't ever let anybody try to play you weak so that's everything um yeah i think that's everything so you guys please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up um thank you for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video and if you all are or some people that are watching are going back to school um hopefully i'll see you after the two-week quarantine um and yeah that's it i love you guys thanks for watching oh and don't forget the mask up honey Get the mask, honey.
And my mom sells masks, y'all, TSU masks. So if y'all want to get a mask, just let me know in the description box, okay? Period. I know it's been too long. I've been on the road too much.